All right, this is Kevin from JJ Hat Center. Okay, I'm at the uh, oldest hat shop in New York. We opened in 1911. We're over 100 years old, and uh, I'm here for 24 years, going on 25 years. Oh boy. Uh, and I know my stuff when it comes to hats. It's my daily thing. Uh, every day, 9 to 5, I do hats. I'm at the best shop around. We sell the best stuff around to celebrities, to rich people. Broadway shows, the guys who are just serious about their hats, guys like you who are picky about their hats, like most hat wearers, um, we sell them to commercials for photo shoots, we sell them for magazine shoots, um, we sell them for Saturday Night Live, I'm going to say at least once a month they come in for their skits, they need hats, you know, they might need something like this. SNL will come in and they'll, uh, they'll get them from us. So we do a lot of TV shows, Blacklist, White Collar. Oh boy, I can't even think. There's so many of them. Um, they even used our, our shop, I think, on Blacklist. Yeah, they filmed in here. One of our salesmen, Rod, was on that show and stuff. Anyway, I want to talk about brims and stuff, okay? Everybody says, what's a fedora? Fedora is a dress hat like this. It's the hats that have the ribbon, the pinch usually, and a snap brim. What is a snap brim? Brim that snaps up and down. Like you see the old figures from the old movies like Humphrey Bogart. And he's wearing stuff like this. Kind of got a little slant with a pinch, a wide ribbon. And this thing that goes down in the front. Now a lot of jazz musicians and stuff start wearing them up. Gangsters, players, people who wanted kind of a smooth, cool look. A little bit rebellious while being smooth, polished, dressy at the same time. You could wear your brim up, you could wear your snap brim down in the front, it's more standard. Or the third choice would be to wear it down all the way, to bring the down in the back, down in the front. That's called a safari style. And you can do that too, you have those three choices. You have different ways to wear the top too, you can break this down all different ways. If you want, you could put a deuce trace in there like this. You know, you can slant it, you know, whatever. There's a million ways to wear this hat and stuff. Now, the difference between that hat and the hat I was wearing when I first turned on, pressed record, this is a flat brim. Flat brims are becoming like, like a style thing now, a sort of a trend where you never saw them before. You only saw them on two hats, on a boater. It's a flat brim, completely flat, you see? And a bolero, which is a Spanish hat, usually from Spain, with a flat top shaped exactly like this, but just all black with a wider brim. Like the tang uh, tango hat, the flamenco dancer hat, flat black Zorro. Remember Zorro? Okay. Zorro hats, and these were the only ones flat. Now you're seeing stuff like this, these custom-made hats, all sorts of trendy, crappy copies, uh, expensive designers, people making flat hats. The difference is, this has a flange. A flange is when you shape the brim with a curve, this kind of scooped. See how it scoops up and down? Okay, the flange is what allows it to snap up and down. It's a hinge. Okay, this is the reason why they always say, store your hats upside down. It preserves this. It keeps it floating in the air, so when the hat is wet, it dries like this with the flange intact, and the next day when it's hard again, stiff you could just flap it down and up again when you take a flanged hat a snap brim like this and you take it and make it wet put it down on a tabletop what happens is mm, just from the weight of the water it goes like this and then it dries it hardens up flat like the table right in the middle which means there's no up there's no down there's only right in the middle which is basically neither up and down that's your floppy hat you wind up with your hat that looks like a uh, like a potato chip, kind of like this here. Now that's your, your common thing. You see a lot of people with your floppy hats around, you know, walking around. They don't have a nice flange. See the way my hat is soft, yet it still has a sharp flange on it. Uh, I've had this hat at least 15 years, and it's flanged like crazy. I don't baby it. All I do is I keep it upside down, or I keep it hung up, or I keep it in the box. No weight on the brim, ever. And that... It's good felt, that's enough. I don't really need to steam it or anything like that. This hat, being completely different, has a flat brim. You would 
not follow the same rules. This hat you would leave on the table because you want it to dry flat. Flat is flat. You want it to be flat. This hat, you don't want it to flatten out. You take it and you flip it. Well, that's your difference. This hat, you can fix it with a, a piece of cloth and an iron. You could cover it up with some cotton cloth and just iron it. You could never do that to a hat like this. This would need to be done, you know, with the flange intact. It's harder to reshape. You know, we use steam, our hands and stuff. We use forms, molds, they're called hat blocks, flanges. They're called flanges, you know, like a brim block. Um, this is my new hat. Just got this hat. It's a uh, rabbit fur felt, flat brim, a suede finish, which is a velvety type finish, not as thick as velour. Has a vintage band that's oxidized and faded, and a little feather in there. Still thinking about changing the crown up a little. I might make the crown higher, I might make it lower. Not completely decided. But anyway, that's uh, your brim. So you snap brim, fedora, uh, up, down in the front, up, down in the back. And the way to take care of it is to keep it off of the surface of the table. Essentially leave it upside down or hang it on the wall. Your flat brim fedora, boleros, boaters, trendy flat hats, anything flat like this. I don't mean flat with a little curve at the end, almost flat, flattish. I mean flat on purpose. Flat brims are always hard. You need a ton of stiffener to keep it flat. So if your hat is soft, it's not what I'm talking about. See how hard this is? The only way you could keep a hat to hold up its own weight is to totally laminate it with lots and lots of stiffness. So you see a lot of ladies' hats in this exact same shape, very thin and soft, and they flop down like a Woodstock kind of floppy hippie thing. And they come in and they say, can you make this flat for me? No, I can't. That I cannot. Uh, if I put, you know, 60 or 100 coats of spray on it, maybe. But the felt is too thin, it's too cheap, it's made in China, it's not meant to be flat, uh, it's meant to be floppy, I can't change it. This hat is good, expensive felt, it's thick, it's been stiffened, um, it's got pro stiffener in it, and it's, it's good felt, it's rabbit and beaver mix, actually, mostly rabbit. And this is meant to be flat, so it's got a lot of stiffener in it from the get-go, from the manufacturing. But, uh, yeah, if you have a hat like this that's floppy and it just won't hold up its own weight, it's like a pillowcase just falling down, and you, and you hope that, you know, Kevin can fix it or you can fix it using these techniques, give up. Look inside. It probably says made in China. If not, it's just you probably bought something expensive that's just cheap quality or, you know, overpaid, or it's a hat that's meant to be floppy. But anything that's flat is going to be overly stiffened like a board. It's the only way to do it. If your hat's not staying flat, it's a common request. You could buy a hat from Stetson, like the Tri-City, or there's lots of flat models. And if it's not staying perfectly flat, I guarantee the reason is it's too soft. So you need to stiffen the hell out of it. Cover the To stiffen a hat, you cover the sweatband on the inside. Just cover this so you don't get spray on it. You can put a big giant ball of tissue inside, like the size of a basketball, just to cover it. After that, you spray the underside with ultra super hold hairspray, as hard as you can get it. I mean, very, very thin. You get the toughest spray you can. You get a thin coat, ultra hold spray, let it dry completely. Do another coat, let it dry. Do another coat, let it dry. Do another coat, let it dry. Try four. Um, you have to pat the hat down with tape first and get all the lint off every speck of lint and dust get it off because you don't want that underneath the spray you don't want to seal that in forever so pat it down really well spray it cover that inside sweatband so you don't get it sticky thin coat of ultra super hold hairspray i say avoid the brand aquanet it comes out very splashy the tip is not uh, misty enough avoid that unless you change the cap to a mistier cap, no Aquanet. Anything is good, Suave, the CVS brand, any crap, the purple stuff, the pink stuff, whatever, green stuff, the white, just any can that you get, spray the hairspray, stiffen it up, repeat, repeat, make sure it's dry between coats. Eventually you'll, you know, what I do is when the hat is not wet, but tacky, 
Then I start putting it flat on the table with heavy objects on it. I'll put a, a cloth and then over on top of that a bunch of dictionaries and stuff or some guitar equipment or some weights or you know like a 110 pound weight set. You put a few plates on it on uh, some books and you weigh down the, the flat brim. You get it on the table while it's almost dry with the hairspray. You stiffen it up and you flatten it with heavy stuff. But don't put books directly on the brim because it makes lines and stuff. You have to cover it with some cloth. Another method is you spray it, you let it dry, spray it, let it dry, repeat, let it dry, repeat, let it dry. Then, after it's dry, you iron the hat. So obviously you're going to iron the side that you sprayed. So you take, if you sprayed this side, you put it on a flat surface and you iron with a flat iron. Now we're talking about flat hats like this. So you flat, you iron, iron. Again, if you're ironing, do not put the iron directly on here. You want to put some cloth first, like cotton, duck cloth, canvasy stuff, any kind of t-shirt material kind of stuff. And then you iron. Don't let the iron touch the actual felt. Otherwise, you're going to get shiny spots. You're going to make lines. You're going to ruin it. I say don't use the iron. If you're, ha if you're comfortable with it, use it. I don't use irons. I use steam and heavy weights and stuff in my hands. So to get back to work it's time to open the store and do a few things and uh, i hope you guys learned a thing or two about snap brims versus flat brims and you can make your choice flat brims might be a kind of a trend that's not here to stay um but who's to say there's something you know one way is right one way is wrong i'm kind of getting into it i think it's all right um i like colors like this and this they're my favorite sort of colors so i was attracted to this hat you know but um, it's a work in progress. I might do something with the crown, lower this, do a little more shaping, a little better band. Who knows? But um, that's half the fun of it, okay? Kevin from my old JJ. Oh, hat center, hey, grooving on down the line. Hey, flat brims, flanged brims, they're all the same. Treat them with respect and dignity. No. Ow. Give you lots of fun back. You know what? I gotta just hit stop. This is horrible. Bad song.